I recently helped Department of Forestry on a private lands burn. Um, DOF does this as a service um, with a fee. Some of what they do is site prep burning. Uh, some of it is uh, general understory burning. And some of it is uh, what this was today was uh, burning a uh, planted longleaf stand, a couple planted longleaf stands. Landowners have uh, a couple options in doing this. They can uh, attempt to do it themselves if they go through the Virginia Certified Burner course. They can hire a, a private contractor or a consulting forester, or they can uh, they can contact DOF and uh, and do it that way. This burn was uh, several small blocks of planted longleaf that uh, was planted probably um, eight or ten years ago had uh, been burned initially um, in the grass stage and hadn't seen fire since so these sites were uh, were pretty overgrown and uh, invaded with hardwood and loblolly pine DOF has uh, recently gotten into the uh, the drone business, UAE, UAV business with uh, um, an Agnes drone. Uh, some of the uh, intent of doing this today was really just to uh, to get some practice in, to get some hands-on experience in using the drone. Um, although these sites are not fun to walk through, so the uh, the drone made the interior ignition uh, far, far easier. One of the other uh, the things of working in these DOF burns is they're, they tend to be less formal and have less staffing than some of the other projects we do. Um, DOF kind of compensates for that a little bit by bringing one of their tractor plow units along. Uh, just in case. Alright. Unlike most of the, uh, the longleaf uh, burning that we do uh, in this area, which is really for um, ecological restoration, um, this was, uh, was not that. A lot of this land was uh, or is used as, uh, as hunting properties for quail or deer. Alrighty, long day for 30 acres, part of uh, the plus for using a, a drone is it makes the interior ignition go a lot faster and a lot easier, but the downside is if the thing doesn't work or it malfunctions, then you're kind of stuck and we were in we were stuck for quite a while here trying to get the drone to work which we never did and ended up having to finish this off by hand which isn't that big a deal really because it's a small unit 
It didn't exactly go as planned. But. So far, no spots, no other issues other than uh, getting the UAV to work. <laughs>